I will be talking about sunscreen and the importance of using it. I will be also sharing the sunblocks that I'm using. Channel. The first thing that comes to your mind when you talk about the weather in the Philippines is humidity. Even during its dry season. Well, at first, I did not put too much attention on using sunscreen every day. Like, I only used it every summer pag may mga family outing, outing in barcada, hiking, anything na I know that I will be exposed to the sun, especially when summer hit. That's the only time I give importance or I give attention using sunblock. But but using it every day, who oh, I bother? But I was wrong. Too much sun exposure does not just give you sunburn, but it also gives you or create those wrinkles on your face, premature aging, and the worst of them all is skin cancer. You might not see the damage yet, since most of us only really got sunburned doing masyada na tayo muna expose the sun. But I'm telling you, 20, 30 years from now, you're not using sunscreen every day, the damage, you'll see it. This is why I recently incorporated using sunblock to my daily skin routine. First, let's talk about UVA rays and UV, UVB rays. You know what's the difference between these two? Let me sum it up for you. Well, these are two kinds of ultraviolet radiation that you get from the sun. First, let's go to UVB rays, which is the shorter wavelength, and this is the cause of sunburn. And the other one is the longer wavelength, which is the UVA rays, and these rays penetrate deeply into your skin, which damage the DNA and the cell membrane. This also suppress the immune system, and this is the number one cause of skin cancer. So, in short, the UVA, dito natin mas kailangan mag So, ano nga ba ang best sunblock for you to use, especially sa ating mga baby na? When looking for the right sunblock, always make sure that it can protect you from both UVA rays and UVB rays. And to get that, you need to look for the ingredients below. When you're planning to buy a sunblock, always check the ingredients at the back and see if any of these ingredients is on that sunscreen. And even the hat, but at least most of it. Now, let's talk about SPF. So, what does SPF mean? SPF simply stands for Sun Protection Factor. While it's, well, I know that it's the first thing that you consider in looking for a sunblock. Kasi ito yung unang-unang tatlong letter ang makikita mo sa mga sunblock, right? We have SPF 5, SPF 15, SPF 30, 45, and you be surprised there are also sunblock offering SPF 100. Super hardcore, diba? There are a lot of factors that affect the effectiveness of the SPF. It can be the amount of time that you apply your sunscreen, even the reflection of the sun from the water or the sand when you go to the beach. Most of our expectation is that the higher SPF, the better the sunscreen. But that is not true, I'm telling you. Well, to be honest, ako rin talaga noong una, akala ko the more SPF, the better the sunscreen. Like, I was always looking for SPF 50. Every time na pupunta ko ng uh, drugstore or any supermarket, I look for the sunblock SPF 50. If lucky and may makita pa ako na mas mataas SPF 50, I always go for that. But after doing research, I'm um, reading, I'm um, watching some bloggers, um, this book that I read about skincare, SPF only measure the span of time that your sunscreen will protect you from sunburn and UVB. And remember guys, SPF only works against UVB and not UVA. So, paano ba natin malalaman how long or gano'ng katagal tayo pwede mag stay under the sun when using a sunblock? Well, let me teach you math. I may not be good at math, but I do study today, so I hope this will be helpful. And it's easy. Now, let's say it takes 5 minutes or sa mga morena, katulad ko, normally, we feel burnt every after 10 to 15 minutes. So, ito yung mga time na diretso tayo na aanohan ng araw ha. Let's say, we're walking at the beach 10 to 15 minutes na pipil mo sobrang init na ng balat mo and yung feeling na parang masusunog-sunog ka na. So, pakiram 
naman nyo, alam niyo kung how long kaya ng balat nyo na nakababad sa araw. So, let's say, it takes only 5 minutes for your skin to feel burned. And if you're using SPS 30, more or less, it can only protect you from UVB for 150 minutes, which is 150 minutes, uh, let's say, 2 and a half or almost 3 hours, you're protected from the sun. And after that, you need to reapply the sunscreen. The vast majority of people you know SP sunblock with SPF 15 is already good. But for those na mapupute sa mga miskisa natin, you might, you will be needing a higher SPF, probably 30 or higher than that. But then again, the number one thing that you need to remember when applying a sunblock in the Philippines, whatever SPF you're using, kung sobrang tamad ka talagang kumamit ng sunblock, always reapply every two hours. Last but not the least, always check for the expiration of the sunblock on the package itself. Ito yung isang lagi natin nalilimutan na i-check is yung expiration. Huwag na huwag na huwag kayong magamit ng sunblock na expired na. The chemicals that the sunblock have, have is very very dangerous task in natin pag expired na. Before you step out the heat in the Philippines, when it comes to the brand of sunblock, it's fine to try any, all the sunblocks that you can use. Kasi depende na din sa higangan ng balat natin. Also, I find that there are already a lot of makeup that have um, SPF protected. So, meron na siyang mga SPF dun sa mga foundation, concealer, sometimes even lipstick, which is really good. So, besides using sunblock, you can choose those makeup that already have SPF. It's uh, another way of protecting your skin. For my trusted sunblock, before I was using Banana Moon. I know every one of you are very familiar of this brand. When I was a kid, ito talaga yung lagi kong ginagamit every time na mag-family mag outing kami. And I believe I was using SPF 50 before because my mom is always thinking that the higher SPF, the better protection for the children's skin. But then, after that, I've been using and mixing a lot of um, sunblock. And what really catch my attention, and I really, really love it, is I know this is a pricey sunblock, so pero yes, pricey siya, but then again, save money to get a better sunblock, it's good. So, what I like about Bello is that they have different kinds of sunblock. If you're too lazy putting the sunblock every hour, lalo na sa mga nasa beach, kasi syempre swimming time and swimming, swimming and swimming, spray sunblock is really really good. What I got is SPF 50. Like I said, my skin normally burns like 15 minutes. So, using this, it gives me 750 minutes not to have my skin burn. So, it's like 12 hours. But, of course, 12 hours of protection is impossible. But like what I said earlier, whatever SPF that you choose, SPF, I do have here, SPF 60. But whatever SPF you choose, it's better to reapply sunblock every 2 hours. This is really good actually. Yung pang face lang nila. So instead of using a foundation, because everyone wants to be still pretty in the beach, but they wanted to have this uh, no makeup look, but then again, they do still wear makeup. Makeup. But this one is really good. Kapalit siya na foundation niyo. But another sunblock that I'm now loving and I'm putting it on my skincare routine every day. Kasi ito mostly ginagamit ko lang siya sa mga every time na may summer hiking or alam kong lalabas ako. But for my everyday use, it's so light and I'm really really loving the textures that they have is the Biore UV Aqua Rich. So parang siyang light lang yung texture niya, medyo parang watery essence. So it also has SPF 50 and it does protect you from UVA and UVB. But I wasn't able to check the ingredient because I can't read it. It is in Korean because I bought it in Taiwan. But I am still gonna look if they do have this in the Philippines. But para sa mga tamad na gumamit ng sunblock, this is really good for everyday use. So again, it's good to experiment with different kind of sunblock. It really depends on your preference, how it will react with your skin. So once you have, once you find that perfect sunblock for you, again, always consider the SPF, and then you're good to go. Enjoy the heat of the Philippines, and thank you.